and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing the second episode of a custom campaign created by Cat Scientist 282 featuring the Franks and the hero Charles Martel. This one is titled The Wolf and the Rabbit. From 717 AD to 719 AD, the Battle of Vinci and the Battle of Soissons. After his defeat at Amblève, Chilperic II and Ragenfried escaped to Neustria with the remnants of his army. Charles of Herstel reorganized his Austrasian force and his rebels and decided to push his advantage into his enemy's territories. Well intent on claiming the throne once and for all officially from Chilperic II. Let's go and get, go ahead and get started here. Charles's rebels defeated all the war bands of Neustrian on his way to Chilperic II. His little army grew its forces day by day. Local villagers took their swords, horses, and little worn armor they had to support an heir that was worthy. The band of rebels became a great force that so far had been undefeated since their very first. Chilperic II escaped to Paris, the capital of Neustria. He called upon his alliance with Aquitanian Duke Odo the Great. His enormous army arrived in the region of Paris and prepared for war to the knife against Charles. Peasants, merchants, and other locals pleaded for the gods' mercies, but Charles knew that the only way to... Uh, I can't read fast enough out loud. Uh -huh. Charles knew that the only way to take control of his Frankish kingdom was to defeat Chilperic II wherever he hid. Charles was hesitant, but he knew that victory had to be had. He had never fought anyone but Neustrians and Saxons, and Odo was something else entirely. His army camped near Cambrisis. Charles was intent on taking it first, before moving on to the castle. Capital. Paris was to be taken, and to hell with the war casualties. It would burn if it had to. To hell with the war casualties. I don't care who has to die. We doing this. Da 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 Alright, our objectives are for Charles Martel to survive and to capture Cambrisis by killing Chilperic's garrison. Our hints tell us that because of Charles Martel's growing armies, you now have a population limit of 200, but with no kingdom to call his own yet, he is still not able to advance to the Imperial Age. For this mission, sergeants will be available in the barracks. The Frankish settlements and villages around the area are still under the control of Chilperic II's men, but if you can kill the garrisons, you will be given a bridgehead of production buildings and the ability to create units closer to the front line. Ragenfred controls the region of Burgundy and the allegiance of its people, but only through brute force and fear. There may be a way to vassalize them on the sides of Charles Martel, so that's green. No kingdoms in Europe have yet discovered the feudal system, but with some intended reforms, Charles Martel may be able to bring the rebellious noblemen to heel and form a backbone of heavy cavalry. You will later be able to train knights in this mission. The mission is based on the Battle of Vinci and the Battle of Soisson. Soisson. Soisson? Soisson? Soisson sauce? Oh god. Hopefully that doesn't offend anyone. Charles Martel in red def defeat Ravenfred and Chilperic near Vinici and he pre prepared his forces for invasion into Neustria. His rebels in orange rely on local settlements in gray, and you need to find a way to increase your power in the region. Swordsmen, light cavalry, and archers may help you in battle. Chilperic II in blue has escaped to Paris, where he takes cover from Charles. The walls of Neustria's capital is well fortified, and they are defended by swordsmen, light cavalry, throwing axemen, and monks. Ragenfred in green controls his Burgundian lands. He lost his strong influence because of the two defeats from Charles, but he's still a strong enemy for you. He trains a mixed army of Custilier, pikemen, and crossbowmen. Odo the Great, in yellow, is the most dangerous enemy on the map. Chopper copes for his army and position in Europe. He starts with few forces, but later the army of sergeants, throwing axemen, and heavy armored cavaliers go across the river to meet with Charles. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here, shall we? This coward Chilperic escaped to Paris. Unfortunately, he still has many supporters in Neustria. Oh, yes. We will need to capture oh, yes. this city. We will need a city of our own to stand a chance against his armies. My scouts have reported that Caprices should fall relatively easily. 
Que fait Royal, serre, prêt, libre. Royal. Que fait Royal, serre. Bonne joie. Royal, serre. Royal, prêt, libre. Que fait Royal, à la bataille, libre. Avant, serre. Royal, libre. Ça, serre. Libre, Royal. Serre, à la bataille, libre. Royal. Well done, we have taken Cambrisis. We must find more supporters. I should visit the monasteries around the countryside to convince the people to join our cause. Okay. All right, to start things off, I think it's most important to get villagers on food and wood here. We'll also get a second TC out. We have a pop cap of 200. Which is very good. I want to leverage the Frankish ability to gather berries faster. Well, our armies are stand by your side, my Lord Charles. We do not, however, have many followers in Neustria yet. Let us free the Frankish villages from the royalists. That should convince the populace to change sides. Okay. Prêt, Mamaro. Que fait? Libé, Mamaro. Chilperic, you've called upon me to exterminate this rebel of soldiers and rebels. Could your army not deal with this? Very well, it will be done. What a waste of good steel. It will be done in three days. Okay, so we don't have a blacksmith. Want to create one of those. Okay. Oil. I would also like to get a monastery online at some point. So I might want to do... A monastery next. Or maybe another TC next first. Let's do the monastery. Burgundians that serve the Ragenfried are cravens, but we can use their cowardice to our advantage. We build a castle inside their walls, the locals will no doubt join the cause of the mightiest. Okay. Okay, 
Let's keep scouting around. We'll want to grab some relics at some point and make sure that we are well prepared in terms of booming. Okay, yeah. Let's get the next few villagers to come out on stone here. Leave. Leave. Grab that relic, bring it home. Hey, Lots and lots of berries in the countryside. This area looks like it will probably be under control of enemies here. So I'm just gonna be a bit careful before like sallying forth to really do anything. <laughs> Is that Orlu the Wolf? Subscribe my channel. That's cute. I want to make sure that I have a good boom going here. Franks get free farm upgrades too, so their food eco should be very good. Alright, unfortunately we lost our scout. Let's keep getting more villagers out. I want to get to 100 villagers as soon as I can. I would also like to get castles out at some point too. And along the same vein, need to get upgrades in. Military upgrades. Let's get a university online here. You are pathetic, Charles. You've defeated two small armies in the countryside, and now you have ambitions to conquer Paris. You are more foolish than Theodobald. Good thing I don't know who that is. Oh, 
Sarjons should be trainable in the barracks now, right? Yeah, let's do squires, keep villagers coming out. Upgrades, keep upgrading our economy here. Now we've got a full wall off of our home base here. Okay, now we have lots of villagers. We've been booming unimpeded here. We actually have tons of gold as well. Bastisto. 
So far, so far so good. We've been liberating villages at a pretty decent pace here. Um, I would like to get some stables out. Okay, losing a castle there is quite unfortunate. But, uh, we do what we have to do. I think this contest will basically be, like, about making sure that my units are mobile enough. The thing about the infantry, the heavy infantry, is that they're just not very mobile, you know? Oui. <laughs> okay. Que <laughs> Oh yeah. 
And despite being the Imperial Age, the Royalists don't look like they're super upgraded. Uh, I actually don't want more villagers. I didn't mean to queue those. I wanted more uh, throwing action here. I'm gonna send Charles back home. We've liberated three villages, and we only have this northern village left to liberate as well. This looks like a point of interest as well. Let's try to send a unit in here to see what's up. There is another relic down yeah. here that I notice. Let's grab that. Boy, cave There is another relic over here. Let's try to grab that. And this is where we can build a castle to, I guess, incite a rebellion. We've heard many good things about you, Charles. Perhaps we'll bring in our support to your army. But I cannot rightfully help you instead of our rightful ruler. Perhaps if Chilperic were to be deposed or put under house arrest. This village is getting attacked by a wolf. And none of these soldiers are helping him. Okay, so we have liberated all four villages, I think, so that's good. Let's bring the main army back here. We 
We have pretty much all the text we could possibly want. There isn't too much left out here to even research. Yellow's forces look like they're getting progressively stronger, though. Okay, so if we arrest Chill Perk, seems like we'll be able to get a pretty decent bonus. Um, Blue has some military units here as well. Hilariously enough, I think these guys are mostly being blocked off by the cows. Okay. 
Alright, so this mission so far has been proving to be much more tolerable than earlier ones because we can actually build static defenses and I didn't do things in the wrong order. Hey, okay. Oui. Libé. Passe qui sort. Que y a Que fait Fait, libé. Libé. I think Orloon the wolf was back here, right? We're gonna need to kill him to keep our villagers safe for that gold. Que fait Libé. Da. Fait, à la bataille. I don't think Franks get thumb ring, so that weakens their crossbowmen a little bit. Might lose that castle, unfortunately. I can always rebuild it. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Drawn most of Chill Parix's personal bodyguard out at this point. Well, they're actually going for my four buildings now. Hey, you're fit. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the buildings keep regenerating their HP, though. So, like, it doesn't look like. Yeah. It doesn't look like they're actually destructible, which is kind of funny to me. Here I was all worried, but turns out they're handling themselves just fine. Chopric, your days are numbered here. You're not even that strong of a unit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just barely stronger than a paladin. I think having like a trio of castles here as a defensive measure is really important. You have brought low chill prick, in that case, long live Charles. My army stand by your men and I will allow you to use my castle. You can now create knights. Oh. Knights will turn out to be very useful, I think. Mostly because they're so fast. Royalists have been defeated, nice. 
Cria, que fait Oyen. Cria, que fait Certes. Oyen. Libé, certes. Oyen. Que fait Prêt. Cria, Oyen. Certes. Cria, Libé. Oyen. Libé, certes. Let's bring Charles Martel forward to visit the first monastery. I think a pretty good idea if I could get green on my side. All 
right, so we need to build a castle within Green's Walls. Unfortunately, I think this means I need to knock down this castle at the very least. Hey, oh, I'm gonna build one right outside their walls. Okay, orange is our ally. I forgot that for a second. visit this first monastery here. Thing. Hope this doesn't take too long. We gotta defend the monastery. I had to defend this guy for three, three more minutes, huh? Alright, I guess I can make that happen. Thank you. 
Quem é? Passa de sol. Bishop Aubrey of Paris stands with us. Rise, citizens of Paris. Honestly, sending knights against these guys probably isn't the best idea. I think sergeants will do better. I definitely need to get that castle up here soon, though. Some markets in case, we, in case we need long term trade. Snipe out the Rams first. It's a big mistake for them to be splitting up like this. Leave it. 
Je oh, fais l'hiver. Je fais, je fais, bien. Je fais, c'est bien. Fais, c'est bien. L'hiver. Dark. Oui. Ok. Reste ici. C'est bien, c'est bien. À la base, c'est bien. Je fais l'hiver. Bon le joueur. C'est bien, je fais. Come to an agreement, Charles. Prison Dragon Fred will help you both against Odo and against the False Heir. Long live Charles. I'm glad we're able to come to an agreement. Je fais, cria, serpe, libère, cria, prêt, libère, oh yeah. I'm happy. Oh, it's cat scientist talking to us. I'm happy you didn't surrender. I love it so much. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I will say, despite this one being pretty grindy as well, I enjoy the pacing of this one a lot more. Oh. 
Я Сэрто. Нидер. Charles is meeting with a bishop to defend the monastery. Aye, aye, captain. Let's bring our soldiers forward here. Green being on our side helps a lot. <laughs> it definitely swings swings the swings the tide in our favor here. Bishop Alaric of Burgundy stands with us. Now the enemy has like this double layered castle here. Guess what we should try to do is to run past it. Yeah, you think? 
This is a good set of scenarios for training your hotkeys, really. Like the select all. As soon as we knock down these two castles here, we should really have no more opposition remaining. Pretty much no means of production remaining, which is good. Um, we can move Charles over here to get his last or his second to last visit with the bishop. That's what you get for getting stuck in a university. should be buying out very soon. <laughs> Defeated? Impossible. My men must be feeling homesick. If you have one this time, Charles, take Paris. I have no use for it. With chill pair in your clutches, I suppose now might be an excellent time to negotiate an alliance. Right. 
Je fais un hiver. Fait. Il y a un cerf. Oh yeah, bon joueur. Oh yeah, l'hiver. Okay, Libérax. Oh, il est. Libé. Terrax. Oh, il est. Terrax. Que fait Oh, il est. Fait. Libé. Que y a Libé. Que fait Certes. À bon. Bon, l'irait Dark. Que y a Prêt. Bishop Lendrick of Every Petit Burg is with us. Alright, that's cool. I'm actually pretty impressed that we managed to mine out all the gold in the countryside. Libé. Oh yeah. Oh, 
Last monastery, let's go. Five more in game minutes. Oh, yeah. Keep looking, you'll find idle, mil uh, idle military everywhere. I mean, the idle military hockey is pretty vital, I'd say. Obviously, we wouldn't be laying waste to the city normally. We'd be conquering it instead. I'm glad we have access to camp rams. I'm glad that that's a custom scenario sort of staple at this point. Bishop Remy of Paris stands by our side. Come, citizens of Paris, fight the false heir to the crown. They're materializing out of thin air. Paris is ours, and so will the rest of the Frankish kingdom. Chilperic is under house arrest, and his lackeys run. Victoire! Victoire! The Siege of Paris is one of the bloodiest sieges in the history of the Frankish kingdoms. The old stone gates were colored red by the blood of soldiers. Kids and women remained in the many churches around the city and didn't leave them for some time, even days after the siege was over. Even Odo the Great's army couldn't stop Charles's rebels, inspired by an age of greatness with patriotism. Once the siege was essentially over, Charles and Duke Odo met, and after an hour of debating and discussions, the Aquitanian army left the field of battle. 
Charles arrested Chilperic II and Ragenfred. A few days later, the remaining men-at-arms and loyalists around Paris gave up the fight, and Charles marched into the city as a liberator and the new majordom of the Frankish kingdom. Ragenfred's friends at court eventually forced Charles to pardon him. For the sake of titles, Chilperic II still was the king. But everyone, even he, did Charles' bidding and followed his reforms. Neustria and Austrasia were united once again, and that day was the start of the Frankish kingdom's true revival. Nice! So, um... I like this mission a lot more than the first one. Probably because I did things in the correct order the first time. Um... And I was able to use castles here to kind of help out as well, which made things much easier than the first mission. Um, overall, it was very interesting. Uh, grindy as well. I get kind of Tariq Ibn Zaid vibes from these Frankish missions, where it's like a long slog fest where you're using all of your, uh, all of your best units at the same time. I think it's pretty interesting because normally Castle Age locked scenarios aren't quite as grindy, I guess. Um, but the combat is still very brutal, and you need to make sure that you're producing the correct units. Uh, I do like how clearing the countryside helps kind of expand your forces. Uh, I like how there's a lot of resources to get. I like how there's a period of free boom time. That was nice. And it's kind of cool to see the city of Paris copy-pasted one more time. We destroyed the cathedral. Oh, no. But again, overall, it was not super difficult. Um, and I, I did like that I used pretty much the entire map, right? In terms of map usage for gathering resources and accomplishing objectives, uh, this map really did a good job, I feel like. So yeah, um, good stuff, Cat Scientist. Looking forward to more. Let's take a look at the military score. 1,500 units killed, 900 units lost. Talk about a meat grinder. 101,000 food collected. Um, 103,000 gold collected. 16,000 relic gold. Just wow. Look at that. Anyway, my name is Mr. The Clever Fool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.